All right, Steve, the boys in the spotlight tonight in Portland and Augusta as the AA and C boys playing for the right to play in the regional finals. Let's start in Portland. Number one, South Portland. Number four, Bonnie Eagle. Red Riots were dominant on the defensive end. Jaden Kim, the steal, and in transition, challenging the big guys for the hoop. South Portland up 24-13 at the half. In the third, the ball movement to Owen Maloney, who drains the jumper. And then J.P. Estrella working in the glass. The hook shot, it's good. Bonnie Eagle showing some life. Elliot Bouchard finding Terrell Edwards on the nice cut. But Sopo was always in control. Jalen Jackson, the steal and hoop. 50-32, South Portland moving on. The other half of the bracket, number six, Massabesic, trying to keep the upset run continuing versus number two, Thornton. It was back and forth all night. T.A.'s Anthony Jones giving a path to the hoop. He takes it. In the third, seven lead changes in the quarter. End of the period, Will Davies finds Braden Kamiri for the hoop. We're tied 39-39. Massabesic turns it up. Alex Grafham, the Mustangs, take the lead. After T.A. ties it, Grafham does it again. Mustangs leading late in the fourth. But then Davies scores six straight to pull away. 53-48. T.A. will face South Portland Saturday, 845 in the AA South Championship. Rivals Lewiston and Edward Little in the AA North semis. David Omasambo, the dish to Yusuf Takani, 15 to 11 Blue Devils early. Eddie start to work the inside outside game. John Shea kicks out to Marshall Adams for three. Then to Adams again, he had six threes. Eddie's up 10 at the break. Eli St. Laurent had a big game, handling the pressure. He had 17, the lead up to 17. But Lewiston would chip away. They went OT with the Eddies two weeks ago. Eli Biglow makes it a seven-point game with under four to play, but John Shea takes over. He had 23, 68-55, EL moving on. Our, uh, our team chemistry definitely has started to get to its peak, and I hope we keep going on that. Uh, we're trusting one another, and uh, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Number two, Oxford Hills. Number six, Chevrolet. Stags down double digits early, but Seth Huntington cuts the lead to six with the basket. From there, the Vikings pound the paint. Jace, Jake Carson, great play to tip it to Colby Dillingham on the rebound. Then the ball movement going in the right direction. That's Tegan Pelletier's direction from Tanner Bickford. Pelletier had 12. Then a transition, Pelletier running the floor with the putback. The lead up to 15. Later in the second, Dillingham exploits the mismatch. He had 20. 59-46, Oxford Hills moves on to face Edward Riddle. 345 on Saturday in the AA North semifinal, or final. All right, Southern Seaboys tonight up in Augusta. Eight seed Wayne Fleet looking to keep the upset train rolling against fifth seed in Monmouth. Flyers go inside. Demetrius Campbell, the basket. Flyers by three after one. Monmouth heats up from the outside. Hayden Fletcher, triple. Then Manny Calder, almost the same spot. Mustangs by three at the break. In the third, Mustangs break the press. Calder gets the layup. Wayne Fleet trying to stay in it. Ed Cox, the basket and one. But Monmouth would pull away from there. Hunter Frost with the tip in off the miss. He had 12. And then after the turnover, Calder goes in for two of his game high 17. 44 27 Monmouth going to the C South Championship. Who will they play? Third seed Dirigo facing seventh seeded Mount Abram in the other half of the bracket. Quick start for the Cougars. Nathaniel Wainwright for three. Count it. Dirigo up nine in the first. Mount Abram started to settle down. Wyatt Siminski the three. But Dirigo goes on another run. Dakota Tompkins the triple. And Charlie Houghton showing off his game, the drive and the jumper. A little later, Houghton for three, he had 13. Dirigo by 17 at the half, they pull away. Houghton to Trent Holman for the hoop. Tompkins added 17, 66-38. Dirigo the win, they face Monmouth Saturday at 11.45 in the C South Championship game. Southern Sea girls earlier in the day, it was beach mode for Old Orchard Beach and Haldale. First half, Amanda Trepanier for three. Haldale up eight at the half, looking to continue that unbeaten season. KK Wills, one of the talented guards, the layup, she had 11. Then Hayden Medor, another one of their talented guards. Haldale up 15 in the fourth. Seagulls, though, wouldn't go away. Sarah Davis, the hoop and the foul, the lead down to five. Then Tessa Ferguson, the corner three. Seagulls down two. But Medor seals the win at the line. She had 11 points. 48-42, Haldale moving on to the regional championship to face, well, we'll find out, other semifinal, Karabek and North Yarmouth Academy. Panthers build a first half lead. Angel Huntsman, the step back jumper off the glass. What a tournament she's had. Then Huntsman inside, Charlotte Harper Cunningham. That's her office. She had a big game. NYA up 13 at the break. Karabek trying to answer Molly Hay, the baseline jumper. 
But NYA answered right back. Huntsman with a three. She had a game high 16. Then on the break, Huntsman to Grakabilla, who added 10. NYA with a win 42 28. They will face Haldale on Saturday at 10 in the Sea South Championship. All right, Southern D girls, top seeded Valley taking on fourth seed Forest Hills. Early in the third, Grace Allen inside for Forest Hills. They're up nine, looking for the upset. Valley responds with a run. Madeline Hill drains the three. She had 15, Cavs down one. In the fourth, Tigers go back to Allen. She had a team high 11 to lead the upset. Forest Hills 34 29 over Valley. They are moving on. Second seeded Rangeley facing Seacoast Christian. That's out of South Berwick. Seacoast builds a lead in the first half. Ellie Leach gets the put back inside. Then Brecklin Winship finishing on the fast break. She at 15. Guardians by nine at the half. Rangeley trying to rally in the third. Cheyenne Avery cuts the lead to five. But then Leach answers for the Guardians. She had a game high 17. And then Leach, the long pass to Caitlin Gendro for two. She had 10. And Seacoast Christian moving on to the regional championship to face Forest Hills 47 35. All right, also some information for changes on the way for the tournament. No games tomorrow in Augusta and Portland. They've been canceled. So the Class A and B Regional Championships have been moved to the Expo. It starts at 12 on Saturday. York and Oceanside in the Girls B South title. Then Madomic and Yarmouth in the Boys B South Championship at 2. At 4, Greeley and Brunswick in the A South Championship. And 6 o'clock, Falmouth Marshwood in the A South Boys title game. All the games at the Cross Insurance Arena featuring the AA teams. Those are going on as scheduled on Saturday night. That's Hoops 8 for this Thursday. All the highlights if you want to watch them again on WMTW.com or Total Coverage is back after this.